uh oh alia may jordan ones yeah they look really nice so this is the girl i mentioned before previously she's like um an influencer on instagram so she's always wearing really cool outfits i really like some of her amazing margella looks she hangs around with all the virgil and that lot um a fairly pretty girl but uh, she's always she just drops really well i think her swag quote unquote is really really well done um especially for the influencer i see on social she's done a collaboration with jordan which you know um i think i was quite critical than i just invested collaboration with jordan which didn't make any sense i just think nowadays um jordan brand isn't what we knew of it in the past you know right um i remember kanye west and his whole cohorts of friends like don c and stuff were a little bit annoyed when they weren't getting the props that they uh they don't get the props that they deserved i'm I, I'm surprised during the time because they kind of popularized Jordan retros to the kind of general consumer. And I'm surprised they didn't do a collaboration. I know Don C did a collaboration, a few collaborations with Nike himself, but I'm surprised that whole group didn't do a collaboration, a, a retro colorway flip of a Jordan. There was a time when they were all wearing Jordan 1s, all wearing Jordan 4s, like all wearing Jordan 3s, like the whole crew. Um, and nothing happened. Nothing kind of came of it. And I think maybe that was self-explanatory because I think that was during a time when Jordan Brand were very protective of their brand. They weren't letting anyone under the sun kind of do a collaboration. But now things have changed, of course, with Farfetch acquiring Stadium because of $250 million. Have you seen the connection here? Everyone under the sun is getting a collaboration because everyone wants to sell their shoes because shoes they're finding it hard to sell these shoes right you don't have to look at the band jordan once to kind of see what's happening you don't have to look at the um the kind of um repeated nature of the retros that keep coming out again and again and again black toes this that cement freeze they just they don't stop with the fucking collaborations with jordan so it goes to show that mainline jordan isn't selling as well as it should be selling um of course because you know there's only so many jordan ones one person could need but that being said i think Aliyah made a very 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 good job um of her collaboration again it's only a colorway flip but she really really uh utilized uh the the model at hand and kind of did a bit of a nod to the biotech dunks that came out a while back and i'm assuming there's a tie-in now because you know virgin was that lot are trying to uh bring back the dunk so maybe there was a kind of nod to that but i really like how she did it and how she put it forward um it's up here as well i'm showing on the screen so all suede upper which is fucking it's gonna be lush as fuck i'm assuming it's got lining because the the one that i liked um was the dunk that had no lining the nl dunk that because i always had an idea about doing that as on the jordan i think that would look quite cool but i'm assuming there is a lining on it because i can see a little bit of the rubber on top there but it's all suede it looks like upper wise uh red toe with blue with navy blue on the toe box and kind of like a peach what kind of would call that a peach on the insole here mid and a bit of purple and navy essence but with a gray swoosh and i love the off-white sole that's something a lot of the brands have been doing quite recently now because it because i think Again, maybe it's a nod to the Tom Sachs um, Mars Yard that I, I have, but it picks up dirt really well and it kind of ages the sneaker without you wearing it too much if you want to have that kind of distressed look. Something similar what they've done with the Balenciaga Triple S where they've kind of, you know, added those kind of like dust uh, tea stains on the sole. But I really like it. I think the off-white look on, Jordan, on, on shoes in general look amazing. Like even the, the off-white um air force ones the ones that came out during the complex con that are just completely white and then you chuck on an off-white sole it just offsets the kind of like the bright bright white with the off-white really really well and then again it reminds me of kind of the vintage shoes i used to buy back in the day in, on on ebay you know the kind of because the first thing to go would be the sole cause, because of the polyurethane that was used there but yeah the, the shoes look amazing i'm not, I'm not really sure what the northern of fur is on, on the on the tongue but again i'm not mad at the little detail there but i, I think it's going to be fairly popular with um male uh buy, sneaker buyers too i'm sure the girls are going to be all over these but i'm sure there's going to be loads of dudes that are going to buy them especially if you take off the little fur thing on the top or if you leave them on because depending i'm just not found the wax laces i always i'm always a, i'm always going to chuck those out so that's something i'll kind of switch out straight away but yeah a really nice collaboration i think she did a really good job she's got a little signature here on the inside it must be nuts man for a girl like her like an influencer that's always been wearing kind of jordan type shoes to get a collaboration with jordan even though for me it's like kind of diluting the brand a little bit they were so protective of the brand a while back and now they're kind of letting anyone under the sun do collaborations for me it's a little bit you know as a sneaker head i'm a little bit like ugh, but true by it but i think personally for her it must be such an amazing feeling to kind of like now be you know have your own fucking jordan one with your own little signature on the insole it's fucking insane and it's so distinctive as well what it looks like i mean there's no there's nothing else out there in the market looks anything like it and this is coming out when uh viatech dunk on december 22nd on yep i'm sure it's going to sell out straight away so there's no way that's going to you know that's not going to sell out that's going to be very very popular so yeah she did a very very good job on those um viatech dunks